All right, here we've got a class liner tine arm for a class hay rake. Common fault, they keep snapping there. So what we're gonna do is repair it. So the first thing we do, or well, first thing I do, is take this, grind off the end, so you're left with a stub. Take that stub, this is what I repaired and it broke, so I'm gonna repair it properly. Grind it off. Slide it back on, or make a new arm for it, which I will go and get. Here's the new arm, similar size. And all you do, which is the right gauge, to slide that all the way in, like so. And then twist it to the right direction and bolt your things in. I'm just gonna make sure it's welded on. So next job, gonna weld it on. And welcome to the bomb site that is my workshop. All right, so we want a grinder with a grinding wheel rather than a cutting disc. And clean that end up, and this is the one that I tried repairing. Clean it up and weld the tube on solid, hopefully. Okay, now clean this end up, a bit warm, as you can see. It's not great, but uh, turn the voltage up, or turn the power up on the welder. Should sort it. Clean the end up to get a good contact. Why is it not? Uh, yeah. Clean the end up to get a nice contact on the welder. There's the tube I made up. That's the one that actually broke last time. So just plonk it in the end, like that. And then I've got to figure out which way it goes. So, back in a minute. Okay, here's another bent one that needs to be sorted. So that hole needs to align there, needs to align with the tines, I think. Yeah, so best guess, near enough. Right, take the MIG welder, turn it on, full bore, bit of gas, and then take the earth. The earth on there, it will fit, which it does. And hopefully, it should work. Right, do a little bit, and then uh, you'll see the finished article. Okay, we've got a little tack weld there, and a small fire down there, but uh, put that out. So I'll smart it up, clean the weld up, and you'll see the finished article. Right, I've got the welding done, a couple of small fires. Fairly certain I've run out of gas on the middle. A slight hole there, but that's nothing. Actually, it's not a hole, it's very good penetration all the way around. Unfortunately, yeah, we definitely have run out of gas through the pitting, you can see. Hopefully that'll hold for now, best I can do. So I'll clean that up with the grinder. Hopefully you'll see a nice shiny finished result in a minute. All right, got a finished result now. So that's what it looks like when it breaks. Get a decent bit of pipe, drill your holes accordingly, and then weld it on. I know it's not the best bit of welding before anyone comments, but if you ain't got any big gas, that's the best you're gonna do. Ta-da! See how it works. <laughs> 